So my name is Vicky. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders and executive directors of GIG, the Global Innovation Gathering, um, which is a network of social technological innovators from all over the world. We're about 180 people in over 40 countries. And the, the idea of GIG is to bring all these people together and create synergies, exchange knowledge, best practices, share experiences and learn from each other. Um, and one thing that we figured out is you learn best if you actually do projects together. So we're trying to enhance that. Exactly. And also GIG, we're not really good at writing proposals. Um, so we had to learn how to do that and we're still learning. I don't think you ever know how to do it, but you keep on learning. And I attended a workshop on proposal writing with uh, Stiftung Nord Südbrücken, which is a partner of BMZ and they support projects between a partner in Germany and a partner in a country of the so-called Global South. Um, to do projects together and um, their idea is that the majority of the funding goes to the partner in the global south and um, also that this partner could be several partners so perfect for gig because we have this german association through which we can help people in other countries get access to the money that is earmarked for development projects and to do this a bit more easily than coming up with a huge project that directly um, gets money from the ministry. Um, this is exactly what this fund is for, that there are smaller projects that are allowed to be kind of pilots and people do these South-South collaboration projects. And you have a German partner that helps facilitate and that's um, actually brilliant and um, well, I'm, I'm, I always say I'm here to write a proposal with Jexana and I'm very willing to share the process, which is painful and tough, of how to do this with everybody else who's interested. Well, the vehicle, I call it Labmobile. And the idea for the Labmobile is that it's a mobile, not just makerspace, also makerspace, but a mobile space that you, in which you can do whatever you want. So it could be a space in which you have a design thinking workshop, a digital literacy workshop, an electronics workshop. It comes with a 3D printer and a lot of tools. Um, I'm a workshop facilitator, so it also comes with a lot of post-its and whiteboards and all of that. And um, the idea is to drive this lab mobile from South Africa to Uganda, starting in September 2019, arriving in March 2020. Um, so for six months, I'll be on the road together with people on the ground. So I'm visiting spaces that I know and places where there's friends who are or are not members of GIG. Um, they all run their own projects and are social technological innovators of all kinds. And I offer them the um, infrastructure of a mobile lab so they can leave their physical spaces go predominantly in rural areas and do what they do there and that like so far the range is from financial literacy workshops for women in Zimbabwe to virtual reality storytelling projects in Tanzania to um, a, a community-based project um, for human wildlife conflict mitigation in Botswana to a makerspace in Cape Town that would like to explore how to take this makerspace into townships there. And there's a lot of really, really cool projects coming up. The final one being that Jexana gets to own this lab mobile in Arua, in a Rhino Camp, in the refugee camp where he lives, and uses as a resource there. So that's the lab mobile. It's a mobile lab, if it's not driving in circles and returning to all the places, then it's not a sustainable project. So my aim is not to set up sustainable lab mobile projects with this bus. My idea is to inspire people and to see what, because the lab mobile is not very fancy. It's an old truck. It's covered in rainbow colored, heart shaped stickers. It's, um, it inspires people. So it, it's really accessible and you're not afraid to break it because it has scratches and bumps already. 
So people come up with ideas. If I had a thing like that, what would I do? And that's exactly the point. The point is inspiring people and seeing what they come up with. And then once that they have an idea, I believe that they can find the ways to make these ideas become realities. And they don't need me for that, maybe as a funding proposal writing partner, but not me personally. Um, but it, once that the inspiration is there, and once that it's clear that you can actually do it, then people will be able to do it. Oh, the Lapenville will be probably parked in Harare in the first week of December, but I will um, go to Kenya, to Nakuru in the first week of December for an event that we call DOTS, um, which brings together giggers and people from the AFSNET project from Rogue and several partners in South Sudan, Uganda and Kenya. And we bring in a lot of giggers and other people and it's not a summit because at summits you talk and you don't get into action. It's taking all this talking and sharing of experiences to the next level and initiating projects together. And that's DOTS, 5 to 7 December, Nakuru, Kenya. We're very excited.